overflowing drains and inundated streets. Across the old capital, the rainy weather over the past few days has caused flooding in many areas. While not near as extensive as in certain villages, water levels are up for several reasons. We had to cut down on staff, some people had to work by shifts and so on. So most of the personnel who were handling heavy machinery, we, were, we didn't consider them essential, so they had to go like on two weeks and then the following two weeks. Now when the deluge came down, we had certain areas like in the Coral Grove area, Sundial and Sunray streets respectively, that were flooded. Now when I took a walk, or a drive, I, I drove, sorry, when I took a, a drive out there yesterday and I saw the situation, my manager, along with the manager for works and the city engineer, they had already done their um, survey. So we had to get a, 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 heavy, a piece of heavy equipment to open the outlet for that area. All right? Now we should have done it earlier, like we did last year. Because last year when it rained, there was not much flooding in the city. For the next two weeks, the council will deploy its heavy duty machinery to clear the drainage system to ensure that the water is run off and so minimize flooding across the city. We are dedicating the next two weeks to these outlets and these drains. So we're just asking people, just have a little patience with us. We'll be getting there, right? Because I get calls about this area and that area. We'll get there. Just, just you know, give us a, a, a few more days and then the, 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 the flooding should be alleviated as much as possible. As part of its hurricane preparedness plan, the 13 committees which form part of the City Emergency Management Organization have been in session to ensure that all personnel and the requisite systems are in place. Our plans have been in place ever since we took over. Uh, of course, the plans have been in place ever since the establishments of CIMA in 2000, 2012. All we do is we modify the plan as we go along. All right? The 13 committees are standing committees. Each of them have an operation uh, officer who is responsible to make sure that the, the number of personnel would be in place. Uh, what needs to be done, uh, the plans for that committee uh, is, is, is updated. When it comes to public uh, education and warning, we have a committee for that. We have one for the relief and supplies management, we need that. Because you know when people go into these sent, um, hurricane shelters, you need to make sure that they have food and whatever it is. But with COVID-19 and the restrictions of social distancing in place, SEMA coordinator and Deputy Mayor Michael Norales says that they have expanded the reserve list of shelters and these structures have been approved. When the COVID, National COVID Committee mandated that we should only have 10 persons in a gathering at any one time, well, that's what we we're going to adhere to because in these shelters, when people start coming in, <laughs> you have to make sure that the, you know, the, the, so, the social distancing is adhered to, all right? So we had um, the, both NEMO, CMO, Red Cross, and all, all the committees that came together decided that we would make sure that only 10 persons would be in any one of the rooms there for the shelter at any one time. Right? And all the social distancing rules, all the sanitation rules, everything that the Ministry of Health has recommended would have been put in place. All right? Since the slackening of some of the COVID rules, we had agreed that we would up that to 25 once the space is available. Dwayne Moody for News 5.